Tak. Um, what are you doing standing there? Oh, hey guys, testing. How, how does this look? How does it seem to everybody? Is the sound okay? Let's check my phone. Yeah, oh my god, I did technology again! Man, okay, how is everybody? There's like nine of you here. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do this. Oh, hello. Guess what? Okay, big, 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 big news. Oh, Phoenix, you knocked the camera all weird. That's why it looks so funny. Here I go. Okay. Hey, everybody! Welcome to my birthday live stream! So, some interesting news today. Phoenix, this is the second time she's done it, but she's climbed up the stairs by herself today, which is pretty big news for her since she's got bionic knees. And I'm like super proud of her. She was standing, weirdly enough, every time I turn these lights on, she's like, we're about to go film and I'm about to be a star. So she was standing outside this door like, is she gonna let me in? I wasn't even in here, I was like in the other room. So I came out and I was like, what are you doing standing out here? Anyway. Hi everyone, hi, how you guys doing? It looks good, audio is slightly hollow or so. Well, that's just the mic, guys, I'm sorry. It's not my fancy microphone. Let's see, happy birthday, Camille. Thank you, thank you, it's not my birthday. I mean, it's, it is my birthday. Today is my birthday. It's not anyone else's birthday, it's my birthday. I'm excited because uh, this whole channel has been about these two and like, no, I never talk about myself really. Not never, but like I don't really get to talk about me, but today is my birthday, so I get to do and say what I want. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How you guys doing? How are you all doing today? Do you like my shirt? I got it at Target, of course, because I live at Target. It says happy, but the thing that I'm really excited to show you guys, I don't know if, I, if you guys can see, is I got these socks. <laughs> I got birthday socks, I don't, I'm going to have to show you, that say it's sure birthday. And it has Sherbert on it wearing a birthday hat. I had to, I laughed for sure, like, for five minutes at Target. Um, okay, let's see who's in the chat. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Yes, Phoenix is a very good girl. Come on, it's your birthday is like the best birthday pun. That's it. It's going to be my birthday pun forever. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. Or actually, I don't know where y'all are from, so like maybe it's a different time. But today we're gonna celebrate my birthday. Yes, it's gonna be my birthday. I got some stuff on the agenda. Um, <clears throat> I have an agenda, because you know, like this is how I like to live my life. <clears throat> so, since it's the day of my birth, and I wanted to like take a look at how cool my life has been so far, and it's been pretty cool, um, I wanted to like show you guys some things that I found in my house. So this is actually, I, I don't know who this guy is, but this is my baby album that my mom put together. It is falling apart. And I just wanted to show you guys this hair. If you thought I had interesting, hey Griffin! If you thought I had interesting hair, if I, you think I have interesting hair now, I, have, I had interesting hair back in the day. Look at this bowl cut, you guys. Look at that serious bowl cut. That's my mom. She looks like me. But, dang. Nobody told me that that looked like that. How are you just gonna, like, cut a one-year-old's hair into a giant bowl? Oh, there's some good memories in here. So if you guys didn't know, uh, I actually was born in the Philippines and I moved here. I moved to New Jersey when I was like a year and a half. Oh my God, look at this bowl. Look at this. Why? Why did they let me have this hair? <laughs> the dogs are so cute and well behaved. Yes, they are. These pics are really cute. Oh, okay, so here, oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. 
So here, I didn't even look at this before I started this live stream. Ooh, God, this album is so old. But I have to take it out because this is a sweet picture. So, frick, I guess I can't take it out. It's really stuck in there. Now I'm just going to show you. So I moved here when I was one and a half. And this is a picture of me and my dad. Where is it? Uh, I don't know how the lights work on this thing here. It's a picture of me and my dad. And there's the Twin Towers right there. So we moved to New Jersey, but we were really close to New York City. That's why New York City has been my favorite city of all time. Yeah, and there's me and my mom. So how cool is that? That's so cool. That is so cool. Griffin's so good. Pretty sure she's giving you birthday cuddles. She is. It was probably easier to keep your hair clean if it's in a bowl. Very true. I think really what happened is, like, my hair is really thick. Like, really incredibly thick. It's If, you, if I put it in a ponytail, it's, like, maybe bigger than that. And uh, when I was a kid, and they, oh sorry, it's been everywhere. And they chopped it. I guess it just like poofed out. I don't know. Maybe one day Tiny's gonna look back at his hair and be like, "Why did you let me have this hair?" <clears throat> so okay, things I wanted to do today also. Uh, so I had this, and then okay, I went and found my old yearbooks. What is this? Oh, yeah. I did a lot of stuff in high school. This is... Oh! So this is my yearbook from junior year. And this is me on the gymnastics team. I'm right here. That's me. And then this is also me. And this um, picture was actually in the paper. <laughs> this was in the paper. How cool is that? Like our local newspaper. Wow, something is in my eye. One second. Okay. I'm good, I'm having an eye malfunction. I'm glad you guys got to watch Phoenix. Where did you move from? Happy birthday, how are you today? So I was born in the Philippines. I moved there to New Jersey when I was like a year and a half. I lived in New Jersey for a while. Then I lived in Pennsylvania for like five years and then I moved back to New Jersey and now I'm in California. Really coast to coast. I also know the struggles with thick hair. Yes, girl, yes. Um, all right. And then I got this, oh, Griffin, you drooled all over this yearbook. <laughs> Good Lord. Right. Oh God, Griffin. I got this yearbook and here I am. We had like a, a choir in high school and we had to sing and dance at the same time. So it was kind of like, um, kind of like Glee it was a show choir. And that's me. I was one of the choreographers. I think that's the only picture of me here. And I actually got one of these things. Ta-da! That's what I got for making up dances and stuff. All right. I didn't know that you were on gymnastics team. That's so cool. Ooh, actually, can you still do that? Yes, I actually can still do that. It's not as easy. But I also brought some more gymnastic stuff since it's already so hot in here. I got I brought my family varsity jacket. Check it out. Check it out. How cool is that? And it has like a two A's on the side because I did all around. I did all the events. Oh boy. I think when I got this it was monstrously big. It's probably still monstrously big. I don't know what my deal was in high school, but I felt the need to like get everything as like an extra, extra large, even though I'm a tiny person. <sighs> How do I look? Phoenix is like, I'm embarrassed to be seen around you. How do I look? Do I look good? Yeah. Oh, Griffin, you're so sweet. All right, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this off because it is way too hot, but how cool way too hot way too hot and then I also got I also found my warm-up jacket from college when I did gymnastics which obviously still fits me I used to wear this thing like every day I 
I just was obsessed with stuff that had my name on it, so. <laughs> Alright, so since we're, oh my god, you guys, are you guys okay? Come here, dogs. Come here. Oh, jeez. Oh. They'll join me when they're ready. Come here, Griff. Since we're celebrating, I'm looking at more of the stream. Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. <laughs> yes, Phoenix just walked away. They were just like, bye. <laughs> Alright, so since we're doing a celebration today, ow, there really is something in my eyeball. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're not using those. My eyelashes were pissing me off, so I just took them off. Okay. I have a little something. These jackets look fancy. <laughs> They're not that fancy. All right, fun fact. It's my birthday. So we're going to have some Prosecco. However, I've never actually opened a bottle like this that like, actually, is this a bottle that does that? So I'm a little nervous because usually somebody always opens it for me. Like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys should stand back. Do you see Phoenix in the foreground over here? I'm scared. Party time, dang right. Fun, fun story. So, I was hanging out with my girlfriends once and we had one of these bottles and obviously I wasn't gonna be the one that opened it. And my one friend took this like thing off that holds the cork down and she's just holding the bottle and walking and it freaking like popped up and hit the ceiling and we put a dent in the ceiling. It was good times. Okay, so, first time opening one of these, just twist it and lift, okay. Uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> hey, it worked and I didn't break anything. Yay. Uh, if you guys are joining in at home, feel free to pop your own bottles of champagne. Phoenix, you're behind the camera. No one can see you. How high do I fill this thing up? This is this is good, right? Come here. Come here. Get out of back there. Come here. You're so, so weird. Come here. Are you stuck? Get. Phoenix. Come on. She's so stuck. I'm going to show you guys where she is right now. <laughs> Can you get out of back there? You're very stuck. I'm going to try to get her out. Uh, okay. Uh, just scooch this way. Why are you so stuck? Whatever. Well, you come over here. Why don't you be my friend? Nobody wants. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. Crawl under there, Phoenix. Crawl under there. Come here. Step over things. Come on. Oh man, I have to show you guys this. Phoenix, are you coming or what? Uh, 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 she made it. You made it. All right. Cool. Griffin wants some. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy birthday to me, I guess. Cheers. Boop. Oh, that was a good boop cheers. Come here. Do you want a boop cheers? She's like, no thanks. No thanks. Mmm. Mmm. So the other thing I just remembered. This Prosecco is actually from work. I just celebrated my 10 year anniversary, which means that I've been working for 10 years for the same company, which is insane. And I actually got some things hmm. oh no my sister is on the feed time for some embarrassing birthday pictures no thank you Allie well here's some embarrassing pictures this is my these are my old IDs from my job this is the one from 10 years ago look at this hair this is 
the one when I started working, I don't know where this was. I guess this was one from New York. And then this one was um, after New York. I don't remember, I have a lot. But these are kind of embarrassing. Like what was that hair? Where is that picture? There it is. Ooh. Dang, I've been doing it for 10 years. Is it Target? No, I didn't. I don't work at Target. I may live at Target, but I don't work at Target. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Mike. Oh, let's see. Up close. I can't get over how cute your huskies are. They are so cute, aren't I? Hi, it's your favorite sister. Thanks, Allie. It's, it's a little hot in here, so I guess I get why they're, like, stressed. Ooh, okay, so what was the next thing on my agenda? I had, I had an agenda. I'm gonna drink some champagne. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi, sister. Yes, hi, sister. For those of you that don't know, I I have one sister. She lives in Pittsburgh. She's a music teacher. And she has a kid, so I have a fun nephew. And she's a cat lady. So I think we make like a pretty good pair because I'm a dog lady and she's a cat lady. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear fellow husky lover. God bless your caboodle. <laughs> what? Yes. I already had, Allie, I already had some embarrassing birthday pictures before I started this live stream. I used some of the ones that you used. So, I did have something I wanted to share with you guys today, now that it is 5.23. And I had some champagne. Oh, dear lord, what am I touching on the computer? No, no, technology, stop. Hi, you're so good. Oh, good grief. No, you cannot have any of my champagne. You need to calm yourself. Okay. We're not friends. We are friends. What the heck? Fine, we're not friends. Mm -mm -mm. So your dogs and cats chase each other when they get together. They, they do. The dogs, I don't think Griffin's ever met the cats, but Phoenix and then our, our a late dog falcon we used to go to my sister's house in Pittsburgh every year for Thanksgiving and the dogs like live either in the basement or the main floor and the cats are always just upstairs there's like a baby gate usually at the bottom of the stairs so they can stay away from each other but uh, we actually lived with a cat like we had a cat we had a black cat named frog because his meower was broken and he used to say rat instead of meow and uh, you know, that's the thing. I'm older. I'm the older sister. So you and your dog, we're not friends. Okay. So it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be a Camille day if I didn't have some ukulele music to share. But before I do this, I'm going to drink a little bit more of my Prosecco. <laughs> So I actually wrote a song today, and <laughs> I'm going to share it with you guys. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Um, and the backstory. Okay, backstory. So y'all know, you're all here for the dogs, right? Like, this is a dog channel. They're very cute. Griffin, you're not even in the frame. It's just, like, your leg. <laughs> Come here. Come here and be adorable. Come on, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. Um, and I get a lot of comments all the time that are like, we'd rather not see you, and we want to see the dogs more. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, I get it. It's a dog channel. But, like, today's my birthday, and you're going to see more of what's inside my brain um, than what's inside the dog's brains. Anyway, so this is a song called as well as dogs. Gotta bolt dinner time later. Bye, Fred, thank you for joining. How often do you go outside with both your huskies? I'm curious. All the time. I actually really like walking both of them together. We go to the beach and we can hike um, both of them. I have 
um, leashes that attach to my waist, so I basically just get pulled along <laughs> while they do all the hard work. Um, but yeah, a lot, actually. All right, so. Hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I wrote this today and I can't quite remember it. I like dogs. Yes, I really like dogs. song and then we can end the live stream because the dogs left like why what's the reason I like Hogwarts
stick around and you'll see. The end. I hear Griffin coming back. Hello? Are you coming back? Well, that's it's fun. That was fun. That was great times. I guess uh, the dogs don't really want to celebrate my birthday. Too bad, guys. Too bad. Phoenix is so excited. So cute. Ugh. The dogs don't want to come back and celebrate my birthday with me. So, like, what do you guys want to know? What do you all want to see? That was pretty great. Thank you. Yes. I do love my dogs. I got other stuff I like too, but I love my dogs. So how's everybody's Saturday night going? Everybody whose birthday is not today. Because it's my birthday today. Oh, you know what I want to know, you guys? Here's what I was thinking. What was your favorite, like, birthday party? Did you guys ever have birthday parties when you were kids? And, like, what was your favorite one? Because I remember when I was 13, uh, I had my birthday party at a roller rink, and I, like, thought I was the coolest person on the planet. And I, I wore my hair like this. I wore them, like, like this. <laughs> I was like, I'm so cool. I'm turning 13. I got braces, and I'm having my birthday at a roller rink. And I'm pretty sure they, like, let you request a song that you want to hear um for your birthday and I'm pretty sure mine was Baby One More Time by Britney Spears <laughs> but I remember that party like really clearly because it was such a good time and uh I invited everybody in my class I got Ace and Hero's attention hello Ace and Hero is your dog named Hero after Hiro Nakamura because that's really cool what else are you into besides dogs and gymnastics all right let's see uh okay and talk about your music background. Um, my mom's side of the family is all artists, except for my mom, who is a computer programmer. So my aunt's a singer, my uncle plays the guitar and is a singer, like that's what they do for a living. My other aunt was a poet. Um, so everybody is like really musical on that side of the family. And my dad's side of the family is all like computer engineers and like math people. <laughs> So I'm very like down the middle. Um, I took piano lessons, I remember, like that was a huge thing. And I also learned how to play the cello really to just like um, play with my sister who plays the violin really well and I played the cello really poorly. Um, but really my favorite thing to do was sing. And uh, I never really got it because I'm a turkey baby. Oh, that's nice. And uh, so I did a lot of that in high school. I used to sing in like all the choirs um, at church and then like also at school. And then um, I was in musical theater, so I was in a lot of plays. I was I played like a homeless person in Les Mis. <laughs> um, and from a very early age, uh, my sister and I took dance as well. So we were dancers. So it was like just natural that we wanted to be on stage and singing and dancing and acting so that was a lot of my high school like I did gymnastics but I also did theater and then um, I didn't really do a lot of music in college uh, I did I do have a diploma in dance Ooh, I have it it's, it's up there I have a dance degree as well as an engineering degree so that's cool <laughs> I don't know what I ever did with it but I have that and um, then after that, I actually started a band. So I was in a band for a couple of years. I was in a couple of different bands in New Jersey, and we would play in like Hoboken, um, and uh, the Jersey Shore, and stuff like that, like local bars and things like that. And that was so fun. This is actually the tambourine I used to play when I was I was the lead singer. So I always had the tambourine, and I would have a bruise like on the side of my leg from you know from tambourining, sorry if that was really loud, but, yeah, that's a little, so that's like a little of like my musical background, my sister is actually like the real, real musician, she 
went to school for, she went to college for music education and like, oh God, she just tagged me in something on Facebook and Lord, it's probably something ridiculous. Let's see, let's see. Allie always tagged me in some like embarrassing crap on my birthday. Oh, great. Happy birthday. You are old. Thank you. This picture is fabulous. Here, here's the picture that she has tagged me in. Thanks, Allie. You're the best sister. You really are. <laughs> so cool. So cool. You're awesome. <laughs> Happy birthday. You are old. Yeah, so that's like, that's the backstory. Let's see. What else are you into? Did you get any special birthday or something special for my birthday? Okay, so here's what I asked for today. Since I have two dogs and a toddler and a lot of responsibility. Uh, I asked to be able to sleep in, which they let me do. I slept till like 10.30 today and it was glorious. I haven't done that in a long time. And, oh, Allie. So, I got to do that. But my sister, being like the best human on the planet, called me at 8.30 in the morning on video chat and I was like, hello. <laughs> and she was like, what did you want for your birthday? And I was like, to sleep in. So, you know, you didn't show the other pictures? Fine, you want to see the other pictures? Oh my god, who knew Allie would be trolling my Facebook, not my Facebook, my YouTube here. Here's the other pictures, good times. This is us in New Jersey in our like Sunday outfits. I'm like so gloriously 90s. And then here's us, it's a little dark, but here's us wearing sweaters and leggings that match each other. Oh, uh, that was embarrassing. I don't even know where this like funny face picture is from. Good times. Thanks Allie, thanks for providing me with content. What else are you into besides dogs and gymnastics? Y'all, I just read, I just wrote a whole song about it. <laughs> what else are you into? I'm really into, okay. Uh, I'm pretty nerdy. I'm not like super duper nerdy. Like I don't have, know a lot of facts, but, but find someone else that knows as much about Harry Potter as I do. I challenge you. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious my two dogs are named after like things that you could find in the Harry Potter universe, like the Fox, the Phoenix, and Gryffindor, so, you know, there's that, and I have an entire book of magical creatures back here that I reference, so yeah, for a long time, like a long, long, long time, I was really into Harry Potter, I'm still really into Harry Potter, obviously, it's super cool, and, um, I was one of the founding members of uh, the Penn State Harry Potter Club. We were called the Three Broomsticks, and I was the head of Ravenclaw House, I'm pretty sure, because I thought I was a Ravenclaw. I am not a Ravenclaw. I, I don't know if you guys can guess what house, what Hogwarts house I'm in, because I took the test. I took the test, and uh, on, what is it, Pottermore? and had an existential crisis about like, <laughs> what is my life? So I'm gonna answer that question a little bit later, but let me know what, in the comments what you guys think, what Hogwarts house you think I'm in. You should write, you should have a song about sushi. I should have a song about sushi. Sushi is one of my favorite foods. Okay, so I have three favorite foods. There is no like favorite one. They're just top three. I think they're equally on the same level for me, but these are my top three favorite foods. Hot dogs, soup, and sushi. I could just go endless. Like, I could be bottomless pit for all those <laughs> different types of foods. Like, I can eat soup all day, every day. I can eat hot dogs all day, every day. Ooh, with all, like, the fixings on top of it. I like... How do you guys like your hot dogs, if you like hot dogs? I like them with sauerkraut. Like, that's the way to do it. Sauerkraut is the way to do it. And bonus points if you're eating that hot dog at, like, a sporting event or something where you get to yell. I like those. I don't even care what the sport is. I just like being like, get it in the goal! Oh, we've got guesses for a Hufflepuff. Do you believe the ending is true in the second Fantastic Beasts? 
Dude, I don't know. That ending was bananas. I don't want to give anything away. But I just remember, like, the movie ending and being like... Sauerkraut is great. Yes. Yes, it is. I like to heat, like, I like to get it, like, from Costco or something and, like, heat it up a little bit on the stove and then put it on my hot dogs. Ooh, yes. Nobody else has any other guesses? Somebody guessed Hufflepuff? That's really sweet that you think I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was a Hufflepuff. I haven't seen it. Don't give it away. Yeah, Allie, don't give it away. But it was good. It was good. It was a lot. It was good. You know how I feel about Fantastic Beasts? This is how I feel about Fantastic Beasts. Um, if you guys have seen Lord of the Rings, obviously there's, like, the main, three main movies, like, Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King, and those are those are core, right? Then they went back and did The Hobbit, which is one book, but they spread it into like three movies, which I had an issue with because I was like, you guys, like this is this is one book. It just feels like really drawn out and like they added way too much stuff. Sorry to anyone who's like really enjoying the Hobbit movies. But um that's kind of how I feel. Like, Fantastic Beasts is really cool. Like, I love that it's in the Harry Potter universe, but, like, we just had, like, eight movies of Harry Potter, and then we're doing Fantastic Beasts, and it just feels like, like, they're trying to, like, squeeze more juice out of it. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I like it anyway. Like, Nifflers are really cute, and, and the animals are super cool, obviously, and I love animals, so there's that. Plus, Eddie Redmayne is, like great at that role he's just like perfect for that role but it kind of just feels like that you know mustard but no ketchup honestly i will take hot dogs in any in any fashion <laughs> any types of hot dogs i will take them with ketchup and mustard but sauerkraut is for sure my favorite oh you know what i really like i don't know if they did the, they do this at like coney island where you get like red and green peppers on it, but just like a freaking like pickle spear on the side of the hot dog. That's an experience. Being a 70s kid, short memory. Whoever names the Siberian Husky Loki is amazing. It's probably so fitting. Yeah, Loki's super cool. Way to go, Steve. <laughs> All right, no other guesses for Hogwarts House. Pottermore put me in Slytherin. And I was like, oh, I'm not a Slytherin. Like, I'm so nice. Like, look at me. I'm like a nice person, right? I'm a good person, right? But I thought about it, and I was like, you know, without all of the, like, what is it? Like, the stigma of all Slytherins being bad and whatnot. So here I am, like, being a Slytherin activist. They're ambitious, and they, like, like to get stuff done and maybe it's not always like the best stuff but maybe when the intentions are good like being ambitious is not that bad and I get it like I am pretty ambitious I have a lot of like goals I have a lot of things I want to do in my life and I eventually I was like oh, okay I'm okay with this I'm okay with this Steve's Loki is super possum yes he is I like chili, cheese, potato chips, and no hot dog in a bun. <laughs> Actually, that sounds amazing. Wait, I'm going to have to make that. Chili. I make a mean chili. I like chili. Cheese and potato chips. Ooh, yes. That's going to have, like, a nice crunch. And, like, no hot dog. <laughs> That's so great. Have you ever watched Supernatural? I think I watched the first episode of it. Um, and then I just never continued I think it's because um every time I see a show that I think like Mike is gonna like I always like say okay well like maybe I'll watch this with him later and we never get to it so we actually don't spoil it for me but we have an episode of the Mandalorian just waiting for us to watch tonight so that's how I'm gonna spend my birthday night we were gonna go out tonight actually we couldn't get a sitter because I guess we just planned it too late but if uh we got one we would go out so this would be my birthday in pre-game my birthday pre-game live stream Maybe we'll do that some other time. But I guess I am still pre-gaming. I think there's cake for me downstairs, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to pre-game this cake. <laughs> Baked beans, too. 
You know, baked beans are so underrated. They're really good. I like when there's little bits of bacon and stuff in there too. Actually, maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I like little bits of bacon and everything. <laughs> Steve's Loki is super possum. Yeah. Whoever names. Does anybody else have soup as a favorite food though? Like, like anyone? I love soup. Soup is so versatile. And I say soup as like a general thing because I like all the soup. I don't know why I like soup so much. I think soup is so universal that it's something that like babies can enjoy and like really really uh, all the way up until you're like super super duper old you can enjoy soup your whole life how cool is that and it could have like you could do like um you need more champagne all right okay glug 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 oh my god this is gonna be a fun live show oh! I saved it. I eat soup all the time. Yes. I'll eat soup in the summer when it's like 90 degree weather. I'll be like, hmm, I can really use some soup right now. Surprisingly though, so since I moved here to Southern California, there's a lot of like really good Asian food out there. There's like a lot of good ramen places and pho and like shabu shabu which is like all the stuff I like and I thought like when it's really hot that people wouldn't be there at those places so that I could like have the soup all to myself but it's not like that like they're always crowded all the time good catch oh wow the best soup for me is tomato soup with elbow noodles Ooh yes you know what I like with tomato soup I really like getting grilled cheese and dipping it in my tomato soup. It's so very like diner food. And then sometimes I like putting bacon in my grilled cheese. See, I like putting bacon in everything. I hate to go, but it's almost three in the morning. Oh my God, don't, st thank you for coming to my birthday. Don't pass out for me, please. I'm not gonna be here for, I don't know. I, get, I think we're gonna end this at like, in like 10 minutes or so unless, some of the other guys want to stay. Maybe I'll bring some cake up here. Oh, but it's really hot. It's really hot. Thanks for listening to my song, you guys, and hanging out with me on my birthday. This has been fun, but these lights are so dang hot. Hot! Woo! Oh, I really like these songs. You should, you, I was at Target by myself, but you guys should have seen me. I was like, oh, it's your birthday. 5.49 p.m. here on the West Coast. A grilled cheese combo. The grilled cheese combo is a must. It is, isn't it? It is. In Pismo at the Splash Cafe, the line goes down the street with everyone wanting the clam chowder, and that's in the summer. Oh, dang, that sounds good. Clam chowder is the bomb. I think it's very polarizing because, like, there's either amazing clam chowder or there's, like, horrible clam chowder, like, you're going to be sick in an hour. But whatever you're talking about sounds amazing. 12.49 here in Australia. Cool. Hi from Australia. Hi from the East Coast. It's 9.50 p.m. <sighs> I always try to, like, do this stuff in between East Coast and West Coast time. And it's just, like, a pretty sweet bonus that it's, like, noon in Australia. So hi, Yasmin. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for joining. This has been really fun. I'm sorry the dogs left. They could not care less about my birthday. Um, is there anything else you guys want to know? I kind of told you everything. Um, all the stuff I like as well as dogs. And I showed you some old pictures and the pictures that my sister tagged me in that were like super duper, duper embarrassing. Oh, and then get this, my mom, <laughs> my parents sent me this birthday card, which is so cool. It pops up and it's got like Snoopy up here, which is so them because my dad like loves Snoopy and I like dogs. So Snoopy is like 
a very famous dog, obviously. But it has this, like, mini card in it that my parents didn't see, so there's nothing written inside it. And my mom just, like, wrote on the envelope that this came in. And I was like, Mom, you didn't write anything in the card. She's like, what are you talking about? But, yeah. How cool is this birthday card? I, mean, I don't care how old I am. This birthday card is cool as heck. Uh-oh, my little bird. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, whatever. I give up. Some people just run when they see clam. Any good Caesar mix it has clam juice and it's the best drink ever. Ooh. You know what I really like? Isn't, doesn't, what is that drink that has clamato juice in it? Are those Bloody Marys? I like drinks that, uh, I got something similar this year too. Mine's a bouquet of year-long flowers. Oh, that's nice. Wait, they have year-long flowers? How does that work? Do, are they just flowers that aren't dead? Like, are they just, like, planted in a pot? <laughs> Wait, how does that work? It must be a newer thing. Yeah, it sounds like a newer thing. Someone tell me how this, like, is it science? Has science created flowers that don't die for a year? Should we be scared? Are the flowers going to take over the world? Oh my god. I need more. I need more champagne. Bloody Marys are similar but not nearly as good. I'm going to have to try this Caesar thing. Send me a, send me a DM of where I can get this stuff. I like drinks like that, that are like savory and not like overly fruity. Like this is probably the sweetest thing I will have. But my favorite, oh, now that we're on the topic. My favorite drinks, because I gave you my favorite foods. My favorite drinks are extra dirty martinis. I just really like salt and olives. Ooh, bonus points if the olive has like a tiny piece of feta cheese in it. That really makes, that really, that changes like the world for me. But there has to be at least three. Like I need to be eating olives while I consume the martini. Well, it has to be, I, I go back and forth. I like vodka martinis, but I also like gin martinis, but it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Have you had a white rush and I used to be able to drink it and it was awesome. I, I don't think I'm a white, I haven't, I might have had one once, but not really very often, I'll have to try it. People eating flowers, ah, it's like Little Shop of Horrors. Do you like old fashions? I will drink an old fashioned, I won't go to the bar and be like, I'll have an old fashioned please, but I will drink one. The things I don't really like are like Mai Tais or... Uh, screwdrivers or anything that has like fruity stuff in it is not really my favorite which is why like w like I'm not like I'll drink Trulies and White Claws but I'm not like a huge fan because they're like just really fruity and I'm not like a huge fan of fruit alcohol like if I'm gonna drink alcohol I like want to taste I want to taste what it tastes like <laughs> I don't want to like drown it out with fruit and sugar and stuff and usually that kind of makes my stomach hurt anyway I like all the sugar Mott's makes it here in Canada. Wait, makes what? Makes what? Caesars or whatever? Mott's? Have you guys seen... Okay. I don't know how many of you are on TikTok, but there's a TikTok that Tiny and I play over and over again, and even though there's a bad word in it, I just, like, talk over it, so hopefully he doesn't hear it. But there's these... Mott's makes these fruit snacks. They're like little like blue packets of fruit snacks and on the packet it says assorted fruit but when you open it there's like there's like you know like blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and whatever and then there's like a carrot in there and the tiktok is like this guy is like what is this this is a carrot that is not a fruit that's a vegetable and we like just quote that all day long in the house and every time he eats the fruit snacks he's always saying this is a carrot I'll DM you how to make it. I'm going to have to try it and put it on Instagram, how to make this Caesar thing. Caesar? Like the salad? I'm so excited. Is this a, is this a Canadian thing? Oh, 
I can't wait to try. If I really like it, I'm just going to continue making this for myself. This is going to be bad news. If it's um, savory or salty or anything, that'll be bad news. You know how they have drinks with olive juice in it? Like, are there drinks with pickle juice? Because, like, that's just an untapped market right there. Oh, picklebacks. Those are good. Actually, those are dangerous. I'll, I'll drink those. Like, a lot of those. Those are dangerous. <laughs> have you tried the dog alcohols? What are the dog alcohols? Like, dog alcohols? Is it alcohol for dogs? Girl, you saw them. They don't need alcohol. <laughs> okay, explain. Explain. What are dog alcohols? While I drink this. They make a couple of beers and I think wine. They also make cat wine. You can use pickle juice and Caesar. All right, sold. Sold. For the dogs to drink. Oh my god, that's a thing? They're like precious little angel babies. Do they need alcohol? What if they're like... Like, what kind of drugs would the dogs be? I feel like Phoenix would definitely be an angry drunk. Like, she already complains a lot now, but I think if she was drunk, she would just be like, rah, 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 rah. Or no, maybe it would chill her out. Maybe, like, Phoenix would just be like, everything's fine. Feed me or don't feed me, I don't care. Run my belly or not, whatever. And maybe Griffin would just be more outgoing because she's like pretty shy right now. So like, if we like, if she partied really hard, maybe she'd be like crazy Griffin. And then we'd take all these like ridiculous pictures of her and the next day she'd be like, I don't remember that. <laughs> Your TikTok is amazing. I love the Meet Rebecca one. Oh my God, that took so long to make. But I love that TikTok. But also, I really love that show. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. It's really good if you like musicals. That's the other thing I like, as well as dogs. Musicals. I love musicals. Yeah, Mott still pickle. Wow. Dog alcohol makes them hairy. <laughs> Wait. So then the next day when they're hungover, instead of having, instead of having hair of the dog, do they have hair of the human? <laughs> I shouldn't have any more Prosecco. My jokes are getting really bad. I, there's an age limit of three years old because it's human 21 years old. Oh my God. <laughs> are you messing with me? You guys are. <laughs> oh, oh my Lord. You guys are just messing with me because I'm having a grand old time with my Prosecco. This is not a problem because I am not drinking alone. I have you lovely people to hang out with and this is fun. It's fun. What did I do last year on my birthday? Last year on my birthday, I moved into this house. It was empty, really empty. I don't know if you guys have been following me since then, but like you could have uh, the Instagram stories of what it was like back then. I was sleeping on an air mattress in like a giant room with nothing in it. I had like one suitcase full of clothes. I was wearing the same stuff all the time. And uh, Tiny was sleeping in a pack and play. And we didn't have any tables to eat lunch at. So I would open, <laughs> I would open a cabinet and he would sit in it and eat food. Like it was a cabinet like this and there was a shelf inside that was like in a little bit. So he would sit here and like eat off the shelf and it was like the saddest thing ever we just our stuff took like a month to get here so we had nothing and also mike wasn't here with us so it was just like me and him fuzzy tongue ha <laughs> let's generalize about men that's like my favorite song on that show <laughs> yeah so that's what i did last year on my birthday and the year before that I actually went out in New York City with a bunch of my girlfriends, and that was really fun. Really, really fun. It was insane. I'm pretty sure I came home at 5 in the morning. Somebody dropped me off. It was good times. And then Mike and Tiny let me sleep in the next day, which was so nice of them. I just remember them coming in and being like, Hello, good morning. Are you okay? And then the year before that was my first birthday with Tiny, and he was so sick. Like, so horribly sick. 
and it was like like a gross kind of sick like he had a stomach vo- like a stomach virus so I don't think we wanted anybody to like we didn't want to go to anyone's house because we didn't want to like spread the stomach virus everywhere and then everyone was like we don't care we're gonna come over anyway and we're gonna bring cake so my parents brought cake and my in-laws brought cake and then there was like a whole moment of everybody being like <gasps> you brought cake I thought I was bringing cake oh no like there's two cakes and I was like shut up guys there's two cakes which is better than one cake and I got to eat two cakes for my birthday and then everybody got sick <laughs> after that we were like we told you not to come we told you not to celebrate it that we could just do this another time but everybody wanted to come over anyway which was really nice of them and I got two cakes so that was cool there is one brand of dog beer that can, you can customize the bottle with your dog's name and pick and promise go to rescue. That's really cute. Aww. Griffin's a rescue. She would appreciate that. Alright guys, well, it's 6.02. And uh, it's been a fun time. But I think I'm going to go downstairs and have some cake now. And um, go find my dogs and ask them why they don't like me. <laughs> so I hope you learned a little bit more about me today and I like really enjoyed our discussion <laughs> two cakes equals dig in lol yeah I really enjoyed our discussion about snacks and food I love talking about food I could talk about food all day that's another thing I like as well as dogs I'm not really good at cooking it I'm just really good at eating it so if you guys want to make food and send it my way like that's really cool I would totally eat it and tell you what I thought. Have a great birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining my live stream. Thank you for listening to my song that I wrote today that Phoenix interrupted, which is part of her job description. So, you know, that's fine. Um, <laughs> thanks for looking at old pictures of me in high school and having a bowl cut. That was good, too. And uh, cake and Prosecco. Yes, I'm about to go out there and have some cake right now, so... I will see you all later. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. Thank you so much for supporting this whole thing, everything that we've got here, and uh, listening to me waffle on while I drink my Prosecco. I'll have a chocolate cupcake in your honor. Yes! You don't have to have a chocolate cupcake in my honor. You can have one tomorrow, too, in your honor. But yes, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And I loved hanging out with you guys today on my birthday. And I think maybe I'll record that song and put it on Spotify. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, yo. It's been real. Oh, wait, wait. I, I can't do the outro until I say, don't stop streaming. Okay. All right. It's been real. I'll see you guys on the other side of this birthday. Bye!